I have a hard time believing this. How much Ubisoft paid these journalists? I spent four hours in Star Wars Outlaws open world, and it feels like Red Dead Redemption in a galaxy far, far away. I've watched the footage. In no way, shape, or form does this look like Red Dead fucking Redemption in space. Get the fuck out, Games Radar. In this, Star Wars Outlaws made me happy. The blaster battles felt like they had meaningful stakes, and the stealth gameplay had a bit of weight to it because I knew that I'd be up against it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I wish I could say how much this surprises me, but it honestly doesn't. I mean, we've known for quite some time now that the video game journalism industry is one that is bankrupt of any integrity whatsoever. Trying to manipulate your customers into buying something that is simply dog water is no longer as easy as it used to be, say, 5-10 years ago. 5-10 years ago, it was easy for you to convince us that cyberpunk is going to be the best thing we've ever seen. High rate of violence and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. It was easy to convince us that God of War Ragnarok lives up to the hype and it surpasses its predecessor in every way. Ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. That Last of Us 2 was a 10 out of 10 experience. You can't possibly play Last of Us 2 and walk away not thinking that this game is perfect in every single way. It delivers a layered, emotionally shattering story on top of stealth and action gameplay that improves the first game's mechanics while integrating a bit more of Uncharted's greater mobility and action. But while part two is a thrilling- I mean, let's, let's not take a piss here. But now, nah, my guy, we've been burned too many times by companies. We've been lied to too many times by reviewers. We are no longer willing to make purchasing decisions based off your recommendations. We would much rather prefer independent reviewers such as Luke Stevens or Before You Buy. Those are the people that we'll listen to. Those are the people that will make our purchasing decisions based off. Not you guys. I can see what they're doing, what he's doing. I can see it, I feel it. It's cooking. So, these people that are working on Black Myth Wukong and Phantom Blade Zero, they were discussing stuff with the media and they said, nobody needs that platform when asked if they were being paid for an exclusivity agreement. Phantom Blade Zero actually came out and debunked this claim and basically said that it hopes that the game will be accessible to everyone. According to an article from Games Radar, the developer behind the upcoming action RPG Phantom Blade Zero has shut down claims that said that Xbox ports are not a priority as nobody needs that platform. S Games says on Twitter that it's come to its attention that some media out Outlets have claimed to interview an unnamed developer from the studio at gaming exhibition. It was that unnamed developer who seems to have made statements regarding Phantom Blade Zero's release platforms and strategy that the studio wants to squash. We want to clarify that these claimed statements do not represent S Games' values or culture, as we believe in making our games accessible to everyone and have not ruled out any platforms for Phantom Blade Zero. End quote. Now, even though this statement was flagged as false, I wouldn't be surprised if it came out that most developers actually feel this way. Given that there are certain games that are skipping out on Xbox, developers are basically complaining about the fact that they have to make games for both the Xbox Series X as well as the Xbox Series S and make sure that every single feature that is optimized on the X is also optimized on the Series S. Already, that's a lot of work. But if you were just to make it on PS5, it's much more simpler, it's easier, and PS5 even sells more, so it wouldn't be out of the question for some developers to say that we are skipping out on Xbox because of this, that, and the third. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean... Do -do 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 -do. Commercial break! Watch the sky, boys! <laughs> and Rousey Charlie. Uh, I only need five more minutes! Can I just have five more minutes, please? <laughs> Okay. Five minutes, that's it, I promise. All right, I just got intel from HQ, ETA, five minutes to bedtime, boys. Let's wrap it up.
guys, I'm getting old, man. The memories that I have, these are memories that I wouldn't trade for a million dollars, man. That's how precious. Take me back, man. Take me back. I'm done. Cut the show. What? What are you doing? I'm about to go get this now. For what? He wants to play. You're really mad because I'm because he wants to use your PlayStation. Don't get mad at me. He wants to use it. I'm just giving it to him. Baby, I'm mad because I was 25 and old. Like, baby, are you serious? At least you could have did. You could have sucked it off from the controller. Well, I didn't know I was supposed to do that. Are you serious? Come on, man. Stop playing. Stop. I'm gonna go give it to him. Well, are you serious? You're really mad. I'm not. I'm that's like, that's hella disrespectful, like, you wanna, you wanna act petty over stupid PlayStation? Okay, fine, here. Here, you wanna play PlayStation? Yes. Control your mind! Control it! Here you go. Are you serious, bro? Since you wanna act stupid over PlayStation, then you don't, you're never gonna play it again. You did not pay for that, bro. Okay. I would never do no bullshit like that to you, bro. I don't care how how much time you put put to it. Like I would never do no bullshit like that. Woo! Guys, this is so sad, man. This is basically domestic abuse, man. The best thing that this guy can do is send this girl to the streets. She belongs to the streets. And if the law allows him to, he should press charges effective immediately. You're going to jail. You're going, going to jail. jail. But then at the same time, I don't blame the girl. I blame the guy. If you have a partner that is comfortable breaking things in your presence, then I have to assume that this is not the first time this has happened. <laughs> Because guys, if you pay attention, the scariest thing about that video is not the girl breaking the console, but the brother didn't even react. I mean guys, I'm not the the most level-headed guy that I present myself to be. At times, my emotions do get the best of me. And this, personally for me, would be the weakest emotional vulnerability to exploit. There's no telling how I would react if that happened in my presence and my girlfriend did that. Batman would never hit a defenseless woman. Funny. I don't have that problem. There's that case, and the other case is if I came home and I found my girl cheating. When they bring my case to the judge, they'd be like, Your Honor, we are pleading for temporary insanity. <laughs> This dude here doesn't even react almost as if this has happened before and he's used to it now So if that is the case at some point we need to you need to look at your life and be like guy Maybe I'm the problem here, you know Crusader Thank you you awesome fantastic people for tuning in and for liking and subscribing and supporting my content Giving my life a bit of meaning remember stay frosty and VWIW vote with your wallet